Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here back with your daily crypto content and today we are going to be talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, also the dollar. Uh, we're going to address a few things, a few concerns overall, um, but nonetheless, I hope everybody is having a great weekend. Uh, currently, today is Saturday. Things are looking pretty good in the market. We do see Bitcoin topped out a little bit at some resistance on at around like 49.8k uh, it wasn't too significant overall it wasn't a major drop or anything like that um, but the overall market cap is still sitting at about a 2.08 trillion dollar market cap down a little bit about 0.07 percent so nothing you know crazy uh, but we do see most all coins now um, they're not up significantly on the seven day span as we do move further and further into the weeks um, now i do believe that we're pretty much ranging to the end of the month so that means um, we are going to see some major moves in the market obviously a lot of people are concerned if we are, have already topped out right they're talking about the nft market they're talking about how people are making crazy amounts of cash off of just random stuff and they just think that hey are we topped out or is this just the beginning and honestly, I do think that this is just the beginning uh, for Bitcoin, for XRP, for all altcoins, for all of crypto. Um, and I do think that we are going to have a massive bull run. Um, and I think that by December, a lot of people who are in this market right now, who you know are in profit, a hundred, a thousand, ten thousand dollars, whatever, add another zero to the end of that because that is what I believe we are going to be seeing very, very soon. So with that being said let's address and analyze a few things so first and foremost we're going to start with bitcoin so bitcoin like i said guys um it has some solid resistance points it was a little bit higher it was actually about at 49.8k but we have been ranging on some solid resistance from yesterday's candle actually at about 49.3k so I do think that once we break out of that, you know, resistance point and actually hold above it in this chop zone between 49.3k and 52.2k, um, I think that that is going to be, you know, a solid place to get to, right? I also think that that is a solid place for when we do hold in that zone um, where we could basically see us go much, much higher and aim for 60k plus. I still think that 60k is most likely our next target. I already told you guys, you know, when we do see slight pullbacks, pullbacks don't really matter, right? It doesn't mean, you know, for an example, that we're going to come, you know, down lower and retest uh, a major low or anything like that. It just means that when we look at things in terms of a actual long-term vision, we are targeting 60K no matter what anybody says. I see a lot of people being very bearish on Twitter saying, hey, we're still in a bear market. Like, I honestly can't believe these people still think that this is like a blow off top or they, they just think that this is like a dead cat bounce, right? Now, a blow off top is a little bit different. Uh, they think that the top point for this blow off top is like 50K, uh, which I did see, you know, Crypto Whale, for an example, tweet out a few things about 50K. He says that like once we hit 50K, we're coming down and that's pretty much it. That's the major crash. But I don't think so, right? I don't think that this is a dead cap bounce and I think that we're going to have a massive blow off top where we do target 75 to 85k plus with the highs being about 100k. Now realistically speaking, Bitcoin has been ranging for quite some time as we do see here on the chart since even back on July 21st. It's just been like an uphill game from there with slight pullbacks here in pretty much um, it was like the beginning of August actually um, and then we also have some slight pullbacks here too so honestly um, I think that we go much higher we might have a little bit of a pullback here and there and it might be a little bit of a slow journey up but I do think that right now we are looking very good I mean there's no way that you can't say that we are especially considering the fact that we are now at pre uh, prices and we're actually at the key resistance point that we were at before we you know jumped all the way up to about almost 60k here back in february so honestly i think that this resistance point that we're at once we break over it i think it's end game for bitcoin i think that that's where we pretty much target the all-time high that is where if we do break out of that all-time high we will go to those massive highs of 
you know, who knows, 75 to 85 K. And I do think that that will basically bring us into the fall. I think that that will bring us into around October, November ish. And you know, that's where we'll most likely top out on Bitcoin. Now, obviously altcoins are a little bit different. They'll top out a little bit after, but still everything looks solid. Now in terms of altcoins, let's look at and address um, Ethereum. So Ethereum actually has been riding some support. Um, this is pretty much that support zone at about 30 uh, point. It's actually 3100. Just I'll just say 3100 exact. So uh, we've been riding that overall support and we've been topping out at resistance at $3,400. So I do think that once we break out of that $3,400 zone, which is right here, um, I think that that is pretty much where we will see a rally on Ethereum to all time highs and to eventually break this all time high here at $4,600. And I do think that that is going to also allow for some, you know, mania to pretty much flow throughout the market right now. You know, Bitcoin, this move on Bitcoin is actually not that exciting as a lot of people, um, you know, might think. Right. But I'm actually going to do a video later today talking about how this Bitcoin jump is just the start of the wildfire that is to spread throughout this market. Because right now, Bitcoin is actually not that popular right now in terms of Google searches and stuff like that. And we are still at these massive prices at 50K. So um, I think that this rally could be much bigger than most people expect it to be, especially even myself. I will completely be honest with you guys. Um, I'm just going to sell my targets and that's pretty much where I'm selling. Um, I'm totally fine with missing some profit. Uh, I'm just going to take you know what I can and pretty much rebuy during the bear market, which I know a lot of people are still uh, skeptical of that. But hey, all altcoins will drop 80 to 90 percent until utility is actually set in stone. So with that being said, uh, I think 3400 is the target point for Ethereum. I think that once we break out of that, we aim for the all time high. Um, and then that's where we also aim for the all time high on Bitcoin or Ethereum dominance. Now, the thing with Ethereum dominance is we just broke the levels that I was wanting it to hold. We couldn't hold the 50 or the 100 day MA. So now we look for a retest of even lower support. Hopefully somewhere between, uh, if we actually look here, we could say maybe here at around 17.5%. Um, and if that doesn't hold, then we target this lower uh, support down here at about 16.5%. So right now, um, I'm hoping for a bounce maybe from here, maybe create a new support zone. Um, this is actually some resistance point that we're basically trading on currently. Let me actually move this up. So right now, um, you know, we're on some key resistance um, and, you know, we did break down a little bit below it, but this could be our new support zone, realistically speaking. And this will pretty much range us to go higher than 20 percent. Uh, now, the whole all time high for um, Ethereum dominance is around that 30.8%. Uh, I think that that is a solid point that we will most likely get to at some point in time. Now, again, there is strong resistance up here as well, um, even going back to, you know, June as well. So there is a lot of pinpoints to break on Ethereum. Now, in terms of XRP, right? So I want to talk to you guys about XRP a little bit here briefly because XRP is very important to be watching right now, um, as you guys already know, right? So when we're talking about XRP, currently right now we are in this massive chop zone that we've just been trading in a very slow sort of methodical uh, level that we've been in. And I do think that it's only a matter of time before we break out of this one thirty one and a half dollar zone. I'm just telling you guys right now and I'm warning you right now. A, a, a level from here, if we break out of this massive wedge that we've been basically trading in, all right, and save or so, we break out of this $2 zone as well. The next target point from our current levels is a 218% of an increase in price. Now, I know that a lot of people have been calling for an 800% of an increase in price. Now, just to give you guys a little bit of an insight to $10, it is roughly 728%. I do think that we could hit $20, which would be 1,556% of an increase in price from our current levels. And also $30 could be the high 
for XRP, which is 2384%. Now, these targets have been um, in my mind and they've been pretty much targeted for a very long time, especially even in regards to the past market cycles of 80,000% pr uh, plus increases of prices. And this goes all from the March of 2020 lows. Now, say for so we don't get there, say for so we get to $15, right? $15 is still almost 1200% of an increase in price. Um, I am totally fine with $15. I'm also fine with $12. $12 is about, you know, almost 900% of an increase in price. It all depends on where you want to sell your XRP and you feel confident selling your XRP because listen, um, a lot of these altcoins will still drop in the bear market. XRP is no different. XRP is not being utilized currently right now. There is a few ODL services already ramping up. Yes, it is being utilized in a small scale. Um, but until we have massive utility where we're moving trillions of dollars, um, we're still going to see a drop on XRP. Uh, we're just going to follow Bitcoin until we don't, right? And Bitcoin dominance is still ranging, as you guys already know. Uh, we actually broke above the resistance zone. I'm not happy about it. I actually wanted it to retest down here at this X at, at about 41.23%. But it is what it is. Uh, I'm not going to complain too much about it. Now, in regards to the dollar, the dollar has been holding this line up here. Um, it hasn't broken this support level at all. So we could go much higher at about 94 to 94 and a half. Um, I'm not looking forward to that, but that is a little bit of a bearish insight. Um, there's nothing too much in terms of bearish uh, patterns or targets that we are we've been looking for in terms of Bitcoin. Um, I still think that Bitcoin goes much higher from here, and I do think that we are looking at major all-time highs by the end of the year. And I do think that most altcoins are going to do massive amounts of increases, especially XRP. Like XRP, I'm telling you guys, you're gonna want to hold XRP. Um, until December at least and we've been seeing a lot of things ramping up with Swift and stuff um, I do plan on updating you guys on a video later today in regards to Swift I'm also going to be talking about market cap I'm also going to be talking about some price uh, appreciation numbers that we could be hitting if the Swift um, you know whole thing goes live which I do think that that goes live in November of 2022 so with that being said we are going to be talking more about this later on in regards to SWIFT, uh, ISO 222 compliance and all that stuff. Um, but with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. If you guys do want more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out, guys.